and Crawford. He also called out Canelo. He said he'll go to 168 to fight Canelo. How do you think that fight would turn out if they do fight him and Canelo? I think he's biting off a little bit more he can chew. Because Canelo's, Canelo's a big boy. And, you know, the, 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 the size in the boxing ring, it matters. I know because when I went to 54, Never, not really a 54 pounder. I won some titles and stuff like that and, and knocked out some people. But in reality, I knew I was not a 54 pounder. And when you go up against top class uh, fighters in that weight class, then it becomes a problem. And I, I'll lean back to the fight with me and Winky Wright. Winky was a lot bigger than me. Probably went in the ring 175 or something. I went in the ring like 162. And I would punch him, and it was like I was punching pillows or something. And like nothing happened. But when I fight lightweight or welterweight, I hit him, then, you know, something happens. Nothing was happening. I wasn't getting any reaction. So I'm like, that's the type of thing that Crawford's going to have to deal with and he fights a bigger person. Like, you know, it's not going to be the same uh, reaction. You just got to be in a box. Crawford's not... Crawford's a boxer. He can't box, but he ain't. He's a fighter that wants to fight and punch like me. He wants to. Oh, you hit me, I'm hitting you back. Oh, you you think you did something? Oh, I'm good. It, it's it's competition, and I think Canelo's too big for that to happen right now, as far as his size. You're right, right. So you got Canelo then? Yeah, I'm not that Canelo. He's too big. I think too big. Legendary boxer Sugar Shane Mosley says that he would have no choice but to pick Payday, Payday, you want Payday, I know Canelo Alvarez to defeat Terrence Crawford. He said Crawford would be biting off more than he can chew and Canelo is just too dang big. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. The best to ever do this, baby. Make sure you guys subscribe. Now, shout out to The Art of Dialogue. They have an exclusive with Sugar Shane Mosley, Hall of Famer for show. He gave us some great moments in the world of boxing. And he was asked about a potential fight. He said, hey, Crawford, the host is saying Crawford says he would even be willing to fight Canelo Alvarez at 168 pounds. What do you have to say about that? And I let you hear Sugar Shane Mosley's response in the front half of this video. I want to give you guys my thoughts. Shane Mosley, to paraphrase, he's saying that Canelo's too big. Size does matter in that ring. He even used his own career and says, yo, when I was fighting at 154 pounds, it wasn't the same. And I knew I wasn't a true 154 pounder. Like when I fought Winky Wright, he says he was just too big for me. He replenished and rehydrated to 170 something. I was low 160s. And at the end of the day, I'm used to hitting guys and having an effect and my punches just weren't seeming to rock or do anything with Winky Wright. And that's when he knew he was, you know, kind of in trouble because his punches just weren't having the same effect on Winky Wright versus Sugar Shane was a lightweight killer. Every guy he fought at lightweight, majority of them got knocked out. Even when he fought at 47, you've seen how he hurt and rocked Floyd in the second round. Floyd got an elite level Hall of Fame chin and defense. So I think that was new for Sugar Shane Mosley. So he's saying as it relates to the Crawford fight with Canelo, he believes that Canelo is too big and too strong and has too much experience at the higher weight class, which ironically enough, the great ego Stradamus strikes again. When I say these things, when I say these things, people say, oh, you're hating, you're against Crawford and stuff like that. But my thing is this i tell you people are treating this boxing game i understand influencers trying to box and youtube and TikTok and where we're at in the sport of boxing but that's not going to change my opinion boxing is not a game this is hand-to-hand -hand combat fisticuffs is grueling and it's a brutal sport so at the end of the day you have to treat it as such you gotta go in there and make your coin while you can get in and get out because boxing is not for the faint of heart. That being said, there's a lot of people nowadays who are treating boxing like it's a video game. And I think I, I blame this new generation and TikTok and stuff. People have shorter attention spans. People don't want to necessarily watch a movie that requires you to think in character development. They just want 
some crazy explosions and shootouts in the first five minutes and they want that throughout the whole movie if not they don't necessarily have the attention span for it and that's just where we're at as a society people's attention spans getting shorter and shorter but boxing unfortunately is not that it is the sweet science and it has to be respected it's not you know people are saying oh this youtuber can beat this world-class fighter man this world-class fighter been fighting since he was six seven years old so if it's even weights and no fighters injured good luck to that youtuber but it is levels to this you think like for example influencer boxing you think said fighter has been fighting since age six or seven beating world-class other fighters who have been fighting since age six or seven to lose to a youtuber come on bro it just doesn't it's like michael jordan losing to a novice somebody who's at the 24-hour fitness playing basketball you know yeah there's a chance that it could happen but it's not likely that'll happen but again i digress i think people's attention spans getting smaller and smaller i feel what shane mosley is saying crawford is a talent but that talent gets negated when you keep pressing the line and pushing the issue moving up and up in weight and you're having former fighters like shane mosley also paulie malinaji said this about canelo's too big paulie said oh but i did say errol spence was too big as well but here's the difference errol spence said he can make 147 signed on the dotted line for 147 didn't give his body that break and he looked completely flat so i think he had weight issues that's just my honest opinion canelo's not gonna have weight issues where he's undisputed at 168 and he's been able to make that division comfortably even fought at 175 so it's a completely different circumstance we're talking about canelo fighting where he's comfortable and then crawford would be potentially overextending himself fighting at a division where we haven't even seen him fight at 54 let alone 60 and he would be fighting at 68 so i understand crawford is talented but i think if you push it and push it like salt and pepper say then you're running the risk of getting defeated and it's not even that you necessarily have less skills in the person but if you give up too much that's like Shakur Stevenson he's a top talent if he goes up and fights Arthur Better at 175 this is a, a guy a talented guy from 135 you give up too much weight and then you're fighting a bigger even though Better is older than Shakur Stevenson it just wouldn't be good and I think that's why you don't really see fighters doing this that often moving up three weight classes and not just doing it but having success and this is what Shane Mosley is talking about he says yeah I beat some guys I knocked some guys down but I knew I wasn't a true 54 pounder and when you're fighting someone like a winky right or someone who's of the division and elite that's where it changes because now the deck is stacked against you and he's saying Crawford he likes to fight like just like me you hit me with a shot, I want to get you back and, and that kind of stuff. And he's saying against a guy like Canelo to have a shootout at the comfortable weight for Canelo, it wouldn't really even be a great, you know, look. And he would have to pick Canelo. And he's a guy who's been in there with all the greats. Pacquiao, I might want to do something. Woo! Do, 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 do. Floyd Mayweather, he fought Canelo, etc. The only person he didn't fight in this equation is Terrence Crawford. So I agree. I think we're getting to times where people aren't even being realistic they just want to see it two big names they don't care about the weight class jump floyd mayweather once famously said that moving up in weight is a process and that's the school i'm cut from you know it's cool to to say and talk about you know we used to do this when i was a kid oh would you take a mike tyson punch for a million dollars or who would win in a battle michael jackson or prince but that's that same kind of kid logic that's what some people are trying to integrate into the world of boxing. Talking about, oh, you know, Crawford versus Canelo, three weight classes up. This is just unheard of stuff. But hey, if you want to prove me wrong and make the fight, I will support it and I'll watch it. That's it. Let me know what you guys think of my opinion and Shane Mosley's opinion. Subscribe to the channel. YouTube will show you some videos that I've done that you may be interested. Click on your screen right now. And I'm introducing super thanks right here on the official boxing ego youtube super thanks allows 
you the viewers to show a little bit of extra gratitude which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing underneath all the videos you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it you can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks a brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself but other people on the youtube platform super thanks a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators hopefully you guys enjoy the content super thanks the future is now the hibernation fives by kanichi bear hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones out of the box you can connect to any console or pc bluetooth ready with a low latency usb adapter color rgb and extreme bass mode the hibernation fives adjust to you whether you need a gaming travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation